hey guys <clears throat> welcome back to the channel if you're new please hit the subscribe button help an old timer out and uh, if you're not new I really appreciate you coming back and uh, listening to me uh, ram on about uh, whatever it is <laughs> that, that I'm talking about today however <clears throat> You're seeing in front of me what uh, I had a guy ask me. Uh, he's seen this in one of my videos as it, it I didn't do a review or anything on this. But it, it was in one of the videos in the passing. I guess he's seen it and he was wondering because he's seen it at, well, I think Walmart. That's where I got this one was Walmart. But um, I don't even know if you can, if they're still being produced, but I do see them around. And he asked if I would just let him know, maybe in a video, um, if it's worthwhile um, buying. He didn't elaborate on what he was going to buy it for, so I'm just going to try and uh, try and answer some questions that wasn't asked, <laughs> if that makes sense. This air is a four-gallon tank. It's one and a half horsepower motor. Um. It says, as you see here, um, on the label, where is it? It labels SCFM, and then it, it lists 2.4 CFM and 3.5 CFM, and that's at 90 and 40 PSI. So, I'm going to say... That, that is a bunch of hooey, and I'll tell you why I think that is. I'm not going to pretend now that I, I know how to convert SCFM to CFM, because uh, I'm going to be honest, I contacted the manufacturer of my Campbell and, or Os, Campbell and Osfield uh, compu uh, computer, yeah, no, I'll be all right, compressor, and they weren't even clear. Um, they didn't even answer it right, so... I'm just going to tell you what I think. It says 2.4 at uh, 90 PSI, CFM. I got a tool, uh, a couple of tools that that says on there that it needs 2.2 uh, 2 CFM at 90, right? To, to be run continuous. Now, it didn't, it don't matter if you got a tool that needs 2.2 CFM at 90 and your motor produces 2.4 CFM at 90. It don't matter if you got a hundred gallon tank or four gallon tank. It still should run that tool continuous. Now, that means that this motor is going to run continuous. I'm not going to get, that's not the issue with this video just so you know that it just means that th this is going to run continuous just to keep that tool running right so the more bigger tank you got the less your motor is going to run that that's all but if it's saying that 2.4 is produced by at 90 it should run the tool that i had it did not i'm going to guess like I said, I'm not going to pretend I know I don't have the tools to uh, measure this exactly. But a court, like for the performance of the tool I was using at 2.2, it required, I'm going to say this thing is running at about 1.6. Let's just say one one and a half CFM at 90. That's a pretty good guess, I think. Um, so now. That's with that said, it sounds like it's not worth buying. That's not what I'm saying here. I'm trying to, I don't know what you need it for, so I'm just going to tell you what I use it for and what it's proven to work for, and you can go from there. Uh, I've ran roofing nailers, uh, roofing nailer on this. Uh, now, everything I'm telling you is from a DIY perspective, not a professional perspective. Okay. So, you know, if I'm slapping up some shingles, I, I'm not, you know, a four-man crew. I'm just myself or maybe somebody helping me out and put down a few, you nail them, and then you're pissing around. <laughs> and, you know, so you can you can do that all, all day long, every day. 
with this thing. It, it's no problems. Framing nailer, the same thing. Man, well, the trim nailers, and everything, well, I mean, don't even compare. You can run that to the cows come on. Um, I run my impact. It requires 3.3 CFM at 90. I do run it on this compressor. Now, that doesn't mean that this is going to keep up with it. It just means that once the tank is filled up, I can get five lug nuts off of my vehicle. They're 110 uh, foot-pounds. I can get them off. This will cut in. I'll put the tire down, you know, get ready, whatever, put the tire down, get ready. And then by the time that is, this will be cut out. I can move on to the next one. No problems. Uh, I've used it for underneath the car, all kinds of things, but it's going to run it sporadic. You'll get a maybe 10 seconds of really good ugga juggas, and then you'll have to let this fill up and then keep doing that. Okay? Um, but, you know, it'll fill up your car tires it'll fill up it, i use it for the blow gun uh i i run my uh sheet metal shears on it you'll get you will get a, a about I, I know because i've done it a three foot run continuous you know shearing your sheet metal before it starts to get to the point where it's not going to be efficient so you'll just let the tank build up and continue um, I'm trying to give you examples of what I you do with it. So, um, yeah, that's no problem. And I, uh, my scaler, you know, the, the descaler for the hair tank, for the compressor. I use that. I mean, that's no problems. You, you can almost run that one continuously, it seems, but, um, I've never really had a use, what I've used it for, I've gotten done with in a certain amount of time, so I didn't run it continuous. I'm blabbling on here, I know that. Um, but anyway, if you're thinking, if this is a good compressor, it is for what I just explained. Uh, if you're looking to to run this thing heavy, spray guns or anything, you ain't going, I run a spray gun sometimes, but it's only on very small, like if I want to touch up, some badly tools or i want to just repaint them or something or a little bit of furniture or something like that i'll touch up um it's no problem but if you're going to have a fair size if you got a, a quarter panel or something to do it right you could probably do it with this but you need a bigger compressor right for any any half decent job your compressor you need a good compressor for that because it's very high volume it's low psi but it's very high volume equipment anyway that's all i'm going to have to say i hope this helps you out um it don't uh it don't trip any breakers i think that was the only question really because you heard that it trips breakers but it don't nope never did and uh thanks for your questions and i hope i answered it <laughs> to your satisfaction and um, guys please subscribe 